temperatures in the low 50s already. We're looking for a very warm weekend with temperatures today about 10 to 12 degrees above average, even warmer than that coming. Several homes and businesses were damaged near the University of Oklahoma and Norman. About 10 people suffered some minor injuries. Crews were busy clearing the streets of all the all those fallen trees and branches. The tornado was part of a, a large storm system passing through the nation's midsection this weekend. Eesh. Unbelievable. Fortunately, we've seen far too much of that. Yeah, and as you can see, months. there was some structural damage there. One of the high schools had the windows blown out. But ironically, Norman, Oklahoma is also the central place for tornado watches to be issued across the country. Uh -huh. So right there in Norman is where you find the scientists who are looking at the overall large-scale patterns and sort of outline the areas that are at risk. And just as they were doing their jobs yesterday, the sirens and the uh, watches and warnings went in there went off in their own facilities. So um, Just like you they say, became yeah, part of the story. Yeah, yeah. Right. They became part of the story. And as we go throughout the day today, again, Tornado Alley, all the areas uh, that you would expect from Texas extending all the way through Oklahoma are at risk again. In fact, a lot, a large area as a storm system pushes through the plains will be at risk. We're watching that very closely because a portion of that warm front will be affecting our weather pattern. First, though, it brings us beautiful temperatures. Well, about average for this time of year and potentially could spark a shower too. We'll look at that in the forecast. But over the park right now, we have beautiful conditions and we do not have the worry or the threat of any sort of tornadoes coming around here. Instead, yeah, let's get up a few clouds and see if we can get some moisture around here before we uh, have any more the fire dangers. The high just after midnight, 55, we've dropped to 52 with the morning low. West winds are light this morning, but a warm up is underway where we will be 10 to 20 degrees above the average, which is 60 for this time of year. We could get a spotty scattered shower here or there late tonight and and then maybe even an isolated thunderstorm coming into the area on Sunday night. So what we're looking at is waking up to temperatures right now that are in the low 50s if you're in the city. Feels good. Corona 54 for you right now. On the Long Island, there have been some pockets of colder air. 38 for Islip. Down in the Pine Barrens, Toms River, 34 degrees for you. 34 for Andover and Monticello. Those are the chilly spots. But as soon as we get that sun started, the warm-up will be underway for everybody to get into the 70s today. Really going to be a nice one. There's actually a warm front pushing ahead of the storm system that produces the severe weather later, later today. And that's how we get the benefit of temperatures going well above average. Low 70s is how we start this warm up, but we could get into the middle 80s by the time the warm-up is over for the middle of next or the early part of next week. We'll get some morning clouds in here tomorrow. The temperatures go to near 80 for Sunday afternoon. Really going to be some potentially nasty weather in the middle of the country. Yeah, really from Topeka stretching back through Oklahoma City, there's a threat of severe weather. We're watching the system pretty carefully because in front of that severe weather line, we've got a warm front that's going to take our temperatures into the 70s. Yeah. So, yeah, I know. We really are getting the best of the best coming with a warm-up on the weekend. It looks like temperatures could potentially make it to 80 degrees before things are over. So we start this morning with 50, some good sunshine out there, and looking for temperatures 10 to 20 degrees above the average for this time of year. Let's get started with a live picture over the park. Really, what a beautiful start. Tomorrow, we'll have the Moore Magazine, Fitness Magazine, Half Marathon happening. It's the largest women's only half marathon in the country. 10,000 women will be out there making their way around the park, so that'll be fun. Uh, good luck to all the runners. Temperatures in the low 50s right now in Central Park. A west wind that's light and pressure is on the rise. A high pressure system is going to keep us dry for the first part of this day, and then a warm front moves into the area. Also, a little more moisture. We've had this very dry pattern around here, which has created the fire danger. It looks like the, the dew point, the moisture in the atmosphere will start to increase, but the chance for a real good rain around here is very slim. We'll call it a spotty shower late tonight, and summer warmth starts next week, so we've got 70s over the weekend. We potentially have mid-80s around here. We're looking at this warm air coming up from the south and west of so Louisville right now at 57 degrees at this time of day. They're going to get a really warm afternoon. Temperatures are in the 60s and 70s. This entire area here from Kansas City down to Dallas, not only do they have warm, unstable air, but a trigger point today that could spark this widespread severe weather. And so that's what we're watching on the map, and you can see already the showers and thunderstorms, some heavy rain through St. Louis, and this will continue to make its way eastward, but we're getting the advanced part of the system, which doesn't have a lot of moisture with it, it just has got a lot of warmth, so we'll take it. We look at the future cast to see about any chance of getting any showers or thunderstorms, and it's a real spotty chance as a light shower could move through the area late tonight. Then tomorrow we start with clouds in place. By the afternoon we'll be watching north and west to see if we can spark a thunderstorm around here. This presents a bit of a problem because if we do get any lightning in the area, once again we have been under the threat of the high fire danger. So we'll want to be aware of any storms that do develop late tomorrow. Here's the sun mixing with clouds and low 70s for today. So the AccuWeather forecast keeps us above average. Even the nighttime temperatures will be in the mid 50s. A spotty shower is possible tonight. Not looking for a super soaker. By tomorrow it's cloudy 
clouds giving way to sunshine and a high of 78 degrees. A lot of people this time of year starting to put their plants in, put down a little grass seed, wondering if you can get a good soaking. Does not look like it's happening in the short-term forecast. The AccuWeather 7-day forecast even takes us through the early part of next week with 86 on Monday, 78 on Tuesday. By Wednesday, we're back in the 60s, but that's temporary. Thursday, we can go back to 70 degrees with potential for showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. But for the most part, it really is fairly dry, so it looks like you have to do all the watering yourself, at least in the short term. Yeah, we can use some rain around here as far as the soil goes and uh, the fire danger and all those things. Right, all these brush fires. Right, but everybody else is enjoying, wow, celebrating the 70s on the weekend. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a